Welcome back to Man, Woman, Love, Revolution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. We ended our last session with the question, what about true parents' oneness beyond this world? What about when true father went to spirit world? After true father's holy ascension, their oneness stood unchanged. True mother stated, according to heavenly law, true father will now make the spirit world his base and carry out the providence to expand Chanil Guk while freely traveling between the spiritual and physical worlds. True Father will come down to the physical world as the substantial being of the God of night and shall preside over the providence in a state of oneness of heart, body, harmony, and mind with True Mother, who shall continue to preside over the providence on earth as the substantial being of the God of day. To understand True Father's teachings on God of night and God of day, I refer to Sun Moon University professor Tech Young Oh's 2011 summary, published a year prior to True Father's Songhua. Number one, God of night is the parent as the creator of all things in the universe. Number two, God of night wished that he become God of day in Adam and Eve, the horizontal God who could reproduce himself by using the bodies of Adam and Eve. The hope of God of night is fulfilled when Adam and Eve are completed and become God of day. Number three, the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind include God of night and God of day. Four, when God of night and God of day achieve ultimate unity and become God of night and day, God of night exists in God of day, and God of day exists in God of night. Before going on to the fifth and last point, I want to highlight True Father's term, God of night and day. This means that the perfection of man and woman, husband and wife, true parents, creates the fundamental oneness of God. The two become one because God of night and God of day exist in each other. Father once said that inside the heart of a true man, there exists a true woman. And inside the heart of a true woman, there exists a true man. Now to the final point. The full transcendence, full immanence, full authority, and omnipotence of God of night are exercised through God of day. True Mother knows True Father's teachings well. She said that True Father is now God of night, and she is God of day, and they are one. True parents have the same absolute, unchanging, eternal, and unique authority. This is new in history. This is the man-woman love revolution for all men and women to inherit and to take to greater heights. This is Chanel Gu. Now, was it predestined that Reverend Sun Myung Moon and Dr. Hak Jahan Moon would become one true parents? Yes, of course it was predestined. Was it guaranteed? Of course not. It's important to understand this, and that will be the topic of our next session. Thank you so much for watching.